From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. It's no secret that the world's oceans are in trouble. Experts estimate that all seafood fisheries will collapse by 2050, meaning that the world's commercial fishing industries will also implode. It gets worse. When such an enormous part of the oceanic food chain goes missing, the void will wreak havoc on the undersea ecosystem, and overfishing isn't the only problem. Consider the widespread pollution. While experts may argue over the specifics, it's clear that humanity has played a large role in the degradation of the ocean. The World Wildlife Fund estimates that over 80% of marine pollution comes from land-based activities. With numerous oil spills, chronic over fishing and the growth of harmful algae blooms, scientists, citizens and governments alike are scrambling to address the problems before they spiral further out of control. At least, that's the official story, and it's no surprise that people disagree. However, when it comes to conspiracy theories about oceanic pollution, the theorists don't even agree with each other. Here's where it gets crazy. Conspiracy theories regarding the future of the oceans are as numerous as fish in the sea, and they span the political spectrum. Left-wing activists allege that members of the U.S. government intentionally created lax regulations in hopes of securing profits from corporations. In this case, the accusation isn't that officials purposefully wanted pollution and oil spills to occur, only that they let the increased risk take a back seat for the chance at making a buck. Right-wing conspiracy theories are a bit more involved. Some theorists believe the idea of man-made global warming is an international scam meant to tighten government control over private businesses. When it comes to oil spills, talk show pundits like Rush Limbaugh have also argued for possible government involvement. Limbaugh noted that the Deepwater Horizon spill occurred on the eve of Earth Day and suspected that environmentalists might be behind the spill. Another talk show host questioned whether it was a deliberate lead-up to the nationalization of the oil industry. Some theories even accused North Korean operatives of causing the spill and alleged the United States covered it up. The ocean pollution conspiracy theories don't stop at oil spills and global warming. Consider the rise of toxic algal blooms, often called red tides. Algal blooms are rapid increases in the population of phytoplankton, those tiny creatures that make up algae. As these massive concentrations of algae die, bacteria feed on them and suck up the water's oxygen in the process. This creates dead zones, meaning other sea creatures must leave the area or die. In some cases, the blooms appear to occur naturally, but they have also been boosted by the introduction of pollutants like fertilizer or sewage. And, according to researchers like Charles Taylor, the oil company British Petroleum is taking advantage of this ambiguity to claim that suspected oil slicks from recent spills are only algal blooms. Despite these contradictory claims, it's clear that time is running out for a great deal of the ocean's wildlife. Has this situation been exaggerated, as some argue, for the sake of political power? Has it been downplayed, as others argue, to maintain corporate profit margins? When it comes to the future of the oceans, people believe there's something they don't want you to know. But who are they, exactly? This answer changes, depending on who you ask.